Hi Stampers! Jackie Ball High School Compton Stampers! I am back today with my second video in my Dear Doily series. This is kind of new, I haven't done this in a long, long time, but we're actually doing three different videos, all focusing on the stamp set, but we're going to progressively add a little bit to it. So if you missed the first video that was just a couple days ago, make sure you go back and look at that because those were SIP cards. SIP stands for stamps, ink, and paper. That really is all you need. You know, sometimes I think we get so wrapped up and we want so much stuff, but you can make beautiful cards with just a SIP, stamps, ink, and paper. So that's where we started the other day. So make sure you go back and see those. Now, today, we're gonna step it up a little bit. We're gonna add a punch, we're gonna add a couple embellishments. Stamping is still simple. There is nothing hard about this card, we're just going to spend an itsy bitsy little bit more time and add just a little bit to the card. So I hope you enjoy this series and don't forget to come back in a couple more days because we'll have the third in the series with Dear Doily and that one we're going to step it up even more and we're going to use the coordinating dies with it. So let me flip the camera down and let's get started. Like I said, welcome back for part two of the Dear Doily series. Now these were the cards we made in part one. They were super simple. I think they're adorable perfect to send us happy mail. We stepped them up just a little tiny bit here by adding some colored cardstock, but they're all simple cards. And we made them just taking a sip, stamp, sink, and paper. Now, like I said, we're gonna step it up just a little bit today. So a lot of it is very similar, but it'll be fun to kind of compare and contrast the cards by stepping it up just a little bit. So I have a piece of Whisper White that is three and a half by four and three quarters. Now, as always, don't worry about these measurements. I will have a link down in the description to the video that will take you on over to the blog post and there I will have all the measurements, the card recipe, the list of all the supplies and colors I use. Try to make it as simple as possible. And while you're over there, if you need to order anything to make these cards, make sure you click on the link right in that blog post and order for me. I've got a great rewards program. I love to send you free stuff when you order from me and I'd love to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So. As I'm chit-chatting here, I just stamped the two doilies. This is no different than the stamping that we did the other day. Now, we're gonna set that aside, because like I said, we're gonna step it up just a little bit this time. So, I have a scrap of Whisper White here. We'll grab our black, and we're using the same greetings. I mean, all our stamps here are exactly the same. We're gonna go ahead, stamp this on a piece of scrap paper, upside down, doesn't really make any difference. And then we will grab our two and a quarter inch punch and we'll punch this out. So here's a little punch tip. You know, if you're gonna stamp something and then punch it, it always makes more sense to punch on scrap paper first, or stamp on scrap paper first, then punch, because it's a whole lot easier getting it lined up than trying to punch out a circle and then centering this on there. So there is that. Now we're gonna grab our dimensionals, okay, and Almost always, unless I'm just doing a, a super simple SIP card, cards gotta have dimensionals on it. That's just kind of my hidden rule. Um, it just adds so much. It takes a flat card and just adds a lot to it. So we'll go ahead and we'll stick our greeting on like so, and then we're gonna add a bow. Now, like I said, we're not even using the dies on this. So if you don't have a big shot, um, this is a gorgeous card that you can make. Everyone seems to have punches, but I think sometimes, you know, Stampin' Up! sells most of their stamps. Well, I shouldn't say most of them. A lot of stamps with coordinating dies. And when you buy it together as a bundle, you do save 10%. So if you're interested in the dies, don't order just that stamp set. But, you know, I know all of you don't always have a die cutting machine. So I like to show you cards also that we just focus on that on these pretty stamp sets. So Baker's Twine is probably one of my favorite ribbons, if you can call it that, for adding, um, primarily because it's super simple to tie a bow. I'm not a very good bow tire, but I can always tie it with Baker's Twine. Um, and it's very flat. So if you're adding this onto a card, you don't add a lot of bulk and have to worry about postage and stuff. Um, I just doubled white and black together, and we're gonna pull that black just a little bit, try to make them kind of different different sizes there so we really show that off. And then we'll grab our glue dots. You know, you always see me using quite a few adhesives and people always say, what's the best adhesive? Well, you kind of need them all because they all have a purpose and that purpose is a little bit different. 
So glue dots, oh, I got stuck to my finger here, work perfect. Boy, fold that up there. Work perfect for adding bows. Once you've tied it, you just put that glue dot on the back and look at how easy it is to stick it on there. Now, we need the other half of our greeting because we're gonna do kind of the same thing that we did with our SIP card. We need some words down there, but rather than just stamping them on there, we're gonna take a piece of black cardstock and we're gonna do a little bit of embossing. Now, I haven't done that in a while. Um, you wanna make sure that you always use the embossing buddy and rub that across your cardstock before you start. That kind of takes the static out of it. And if you've embossed much, you'll know that sometimes you get like little specks of embossing powder in places you don't want it. This is what helps prevent that. And then we're using our Versamark pad. Okay, this is a clear ink. It's slow drying. And the reason we do that is we need it to dry slow so we have time to put our powder on. And then I have some white embossing powder and we're just gonna dump that on and tap off the extra. And so you can see, I don't really have a lot of stray white on there. You know, if you do, you can brush it off, but that's where that embossing buddy really helps. So let me grab the heat tool. Now with the heat tool, I like to just heat it up a little bit. Hopefully you can hear me over the noise of it. Um, get it warmed up if you haven't used it in a while. And then when you put it onto your cardstock, you wanna move it around, okay? Don't hold it in one spot because you really could burn the cardstock. And you will see as it starts to melt, it just kind of like spider webs. Oh, there we go. See how you can see it? And it just keeps moving. Keep moving that heat source. Don't overheat it. You know, once it's, once it's heated up and shiny and raised, it's done. If you heat it for too long, it will actually flatten back out. Now for this card, I'm going to just take my paper snips and I'm going to hand cut right along the bottom. And we'll come up here. The ends I'm gonna cut off after I've cut the top and the bottom. I found that's the easiest way to get it somewhat straight. So along the top, along the bottom, and then we'll just snip each side. And there's the rest of our greeting. And once again, we'll grab a couple of dimensionals. Boy, those barely fit on there, but they work. If this was too skinny, remember we always have mini dimensionals. So if, if these would stick out the side, grab those minis instead. See, that's why we need all the different adhesives. And then we're gonna go ahead and stick that right there like so, dimensional papers everywhere. And then one more thing, let's just go ahead and add these glitter or glimmer, I guess they're called enamel dots. You know, if you wonder, you know, you look through the Stampin' Up! catalog and there's all these little embellishments and you kind of wonder what the heck are they for? They really are, oh, I got one stuck on my hand here. We'll use this one first. They're just to add that fun little jazz it up a smidgen um, bit to your card. So we'll just put a pink one and a purple one and then why don't we throw one more down here. I mean, it's really just that simple, gives it a little shine, but look how fun that is. Now, I'm gonna pull in my finished one, and all I did was I took my Whisper White, layered it onto a piece of black, and then onto a piece of gorgeous grape. And don't forget the inside. There's our inside stamped on that one. Now, just for fun, let's go back and compare. So here was the first one we made. This is just a sip note card same same stamping but look at the difference by just adding the embossing and popping these up punching it out and then here's the other one that um, we added the colored cardstock but again see how simple it is like i said none of this is hard but when you add a punch you add a little embellishment a little bit of embossing it just steps your card up a little bit so let's go ahead and take a look at this one just like with the first video i used Seafoam green and or soft sea foam. Oh, got something on there. Soft sea foam and so saffron. But I did the same layout as we did here, and you can just see how colors make all the difference. It just changes the tone of the card. So there are two ideas. Just switch out the color. Any colors would work great. And taking our card from a simple sip of just stamps, ink, and paper to adding just a little bit more with a punch, some baker's twine, some embossing, and some embellishments. So I hope you like these stepped up cards. Like I said, this is a three-part series. So make sure you come back in two days on Friday. I will have the third video that we're going to actually use the coordinating dies to make some cards with it. So those cards are going to be super fun as well. So I look forward to sharing again with you in a couple of days using the Dear Doily stamp set. Until then, have a stamp happy day.